Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to a return to something that I took a quick look at before. Well, with a given definition of quick anyway. It is the RPG Maker game that a friend of mine made. Goddess! And he's made a whole lot more of it. Instead of just the preview chapter, which I did before. So, I'm gonna play some of it. Here we go! N oh, right. My controller is not hooked up. Uh, I'm gonna need to fix that. But, in the meantime, since I already did the introduction chapter in, like, a massive 15 frames per second, maybe? It couldn't have been higher than that. Um, we are gonna skip it. At his insistence, actually. So, you know, make sure you watch that part first before you watch this. Otherwise, it might not make much sense. Okay, I guess I'm at the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, she saw something all right. <laughs> so, my story is what you are asked for, and that is what I'll give. Sit on the rug, close to the candle, and listen well. For you will learn things tonight that you wish you d that you will wish you never had. If you are cold, wrap yourself in a blanket, and if you're thirsty, drink of my spiced tea. But stay quiet, for I will now begin to tell the tale of my life, one filled with pain and regret. Many years ago, I was a different person. I wasn't the grim-looking thing you see before me now. Before you. I was a young woman, and I was beautiful. Happy and full of energy, no matter how unlikely that sounds. I was born and raised in a tiny village, hidden deep in a reclusive valley far to the north. In my youth, visitors rarely came to this place, but they trickled in as the years went by. My parents passed away when I was still fairly young, and when I came of age, I grew tired of living with the villagers, so I set out on my own. I traveled a short distance away and built my own log cabin to my own liking. I lived off the land, independent, and way cooler than you'll ever be, <laughs> and only visited the town of Snowbrook when I needed to trade. Is that a different town than the one she grew up in? Or is it the same town that she grew up in? Hmm. It is unclear. I became a hunter and a trapper. The abundant wildlife sustained me, and I could harvest plenty of materials off of animals that I later sold in town. It was a peaceful and enjoyable way of life. My story starts on one cold morning, if I recall correctly, I was chopping logs for the fire. Sure! Let's go for it. Ah, nothing quite l as refreshing as chopping wood on a crisp, fine morning like this. Makes it feel alive. So does the frostbite. <laughs> Looks like I'm pretty much done. And it's still so early. Let's see. What else did I plan to do today again? Great. John at the Snowbrook had... Wait, Snowbrook Pub? I thought it was a town. A anyway. They've been sitting in the chest by my bed. I completely forgot about them. Guess I'll deliver them then. May as well pick up some flies as well while I'm there. 
Moffat. That's Ka. Let's see. The well water is warm and flowing. I had built my home over naturally occurring hot springs. It made baths enjoyable and frequent, among other things. Do go on. Except don't actually go on. <laughs> I tried to keep a fire going at all times. It was always cold in the north. Your house can stay pretty toasty with a fire always going, though. Not to mention, give a pleasant smell. And pr probably burnt down your cabin a few times, but... I always tried to keep a healthy supply of warm bread. If I was hungry, I would take one. But only one at a time. Rationing is important. Stores that much HP. No weapons. Uh, I have equipment though. Wait, no, I already. Skills. Bandages. And. Barbed arrows? Why would that deal extra damage? I mean. Hmm. Anyway. My trusty bone arrows were my primary way I hunted. No. Fine furs were found. We got a- wait. We got a thing! Da 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 da! So I guess we'll have to head to, to town. Whoa, it's a world map. I had situated my house at the southern end of the valley. It was the most secluded part of a secluded valley, and that suited me just fine. Ladies. To the north was Snowbrook and the valley entrance. You know, I don't really think the mid ladies was appropriate, I gotta say. Oh well. I mean, it's too late to take it back now. Snow chicken? More like snow lunch. I said, more like snow lunch. That is... When I say that, it means you have to die so that I can eat you, you know, for lunch. Chicken feathers? Well, that's... that's... disappointing. That's a little disappointing. Oh well. Oh, by the way, I should mention this. I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard. I have a loud, clacky keyboard. Um... In fact... Just a sec. Okay. I'm probably a little bit louder now. But, my keyboard should not... should not be as loud as it was before. This is because I swapped their locations with one another. My, before, my microphone was in front of my keyboard. Wait, I swapped my keyboard with my voice? What? In any case, now my keyboard is behind my microphone. So hopefully it won't be as loud. Hey, what's that? Oh, it won't let me do it. An ice... ice... what? I mean, it is a bat, but it looks nothing like it. It doesn't really look very ice themed. Hmm. Snowbrook. Okay, so it is a town, it's not just the pub. So that make, ha, makes me wonder is the pub named after the town, or is the town named after the pub? We have a chicken and the egg situation here. Hey Red, long time no see. Wanna have a snow fight? You're on. Ha ha ha. I am the snow ki- I mean, snow queen. Water's gone frozen again. What's the point of a well when it freezes over all the time? I don't know. 
Mine doesn't do that. Maybe you just need to dig a better well. Sold for money, sold for money. N apparently not sold for money. I did not make enough money to buy anything. Come on. <laughs> I can't even buy herbs. Whatever. Let's see, hey, it's a sign. Yep, that was a sign, all right. Why, hello there, Red. How's hunting been going? Pretty well. Joe. Oh, no, wait, no, that's his name. Why, hello there, Red. It does an old man good to see you here. It's good to see you too, Joab. How's the village holding up these days? About as poorly as myself. Whenever you leave town, I wonder if that would be the last time I set eyes on you. Um. Well, you are pretty old. Ha! 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 I am indeed. Oh, Red. You always know how to amuse an old man. Nothing will grow. Okay. Oh, hey, I have enough money for an er a herb now. I don't want a herb, though. I want something better than a herb. Tough winter this year. Wait. Isn't that the same face as the commander of the group? Not much of anything is growing. Some of us will be starving at this rate. Okay. Oh, I was hoping it would burn. I don't know why. I mean, burning the food supply in a town that's short on food seems like a pretty bad, pretty, a pretty asshole move, but I wanted to do it. Hey, you. Have you, how have you been? It's the old man again! Wait, what? No, alcohol doesn't work that way. Alcohol makes you lose your body temperature. You don't drink during the cold, it'll cause hypothermia. Yes, it will kill you. It'll give you hypothermia and also probably ruin your liver. Um. Old man Pat here thinks we have to fix the food shortage problem. He's starting to make sense, I think. Something needs to be done about the crops. The whole village is in danger. I need another shot. Uh, well, potatoes are roots. Uh... Okay. Bear and beaver. That's not enough money! <laughs> I don't see how it's embarrassing. I mean, if you have the skill to make a doll, like, to make a well-made doll, then that's sort of impressive. Damn right, wonderful human being. Uh... The exchange is done, and I stayed and overheard some drunken banner. Well, yeah. You just need to hunt more. Bring water to their crops? Yeah, I, well, I guess that's technically true. I mean, I guess you could call that, call it irrigation, then bring water, an elaborate way for them to bring water to their crops. Um... 
Dirt doesn't go bad. You just need to live somewhere warmer. Um, maybe, maybe build a, a, a greenhouse. That'll work. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's hard not because it's too cold. Again, you just need... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the greenhouse thing. That seems like a good idea. Um... Now, I can't afford the thing I want, but I can afford a hat. I don't have a hat, so I'm gonna buy a hat. Headgear. Provides little protection. Now, to help contribute to the overhunting problem, uh, after I visit the inn, that is. If you say so. <laughs> ha! 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 Seriously, though, I do prefer the pub. I'm gonna sprout from you now. More bread! Contributing to a growing food shortage. Now, wait. You know, I've been wondering that myself, actually. No, that's not actually my name. And no, they didn't call me that. But as far as you're concerned, it's red. Oh. Uh, okay then. And what did I say about not interrupting? So, so, so sorry please don't kill me. Anyway, as I was saying, I had always considered myself a loner, and an outsider as well. So I was never fully comfortable while in Snowbrook, but that last visit, there wasn't a good feeling about it. It was a pleasant enough village. As it had always been, there were still children in the streets playing in the snow. But the recent food shortage was putting people a little on edge, not to mention everyone was thinner than I had remembered. But ultimately, I left the village without genuine worry. My next stop was to see a friend of mine, a woman named Lelinaya? Lavinaya? Lavine? I'm gonna go... Lavine... I'm gonna say Lavine. Mofet. She lived to the northwest. Yo! Right here. Oh. Okay. Often co Okay, Miss Mofet. Never run, or talk, or eat, or what? What do you mean? She, wait, so... This sounds very familiar to me. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Hmm... Yeah, I see... As for her, the people expect her to perish, but she survived. Big surprise. Hmm... Okay, so, really good Samaritan here. Uh, wait, she's around 18 years of age and you helped raise her. How old is Red in- well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm j I feel curious though, because this is supposed to be in the past in her youth, actually, when this is taking place. So how old is she when the- during this? I just don't know. Hmm.
Anyway, wooden doll, a toy doll made of wood, wrapped in a gift box. It has little clothes and red yarn for hair. So, it's Pinocchio. Well, not exactly. A snowman? Did Mofet do this? This house is. This is a seriously rundown shack. No fire. Levin, you're freezing! When did the coat I gave you go? Or where, rather? I was wearing it, but by the river. And it got windy. And my coat, it flew into the river. But it's okay. I don't mind the cold. It's most certainly not okay. You're shatter shaking too much to even speak. Here, your fire's not even lit. All right then. Now just how you been, little Miss Muffet? Besides losing coats that I give you. Oh, I've been really good. Good. I've brought the usual stuff for you. Some bread and meat and milk. Oh, and I brought you something special this time, too. Oh, Red, come here. I forgot to show you. Hmm? Oh. Okay. I think I know where this is going, and I, I really hope it's not going where I think it is. It's a snowman! I see, and a very impressive snowman too. Did you build it all by yourself? Yep, it took me two whole days to build it. I was feeling lonely, so I built a friend. I think it looks like you. Um, moving on. You did a great job, Miss Moffat. Maybe, m maybe it could have been a little taller. Uh, the, the next time I need a snowman built, I know just who to see. And here, I was going to give this to you before you ran off. It's a present. A present? I suppose it does. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Red. I love it very much. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, you lost your coat. So I'm going to go make another one for you. And this time, it won't be light enough to float away in the wind. It'll be a big, thick, super warm coat. I'll just... It'll just take a little time for me to get the materials and make it. But I'll be back as soon as it's done. I promise. Alrighty, Red. I'll be here. I'm going to play with my dolly now. Aww. Hmm. Yeah, I would say even pro I would say even probable rather than possible. Okay. Is it a bear? Well, it's not a bear. 
forest to the east. Okay. Well, I am well supplied in that I have three warm breads. I do think I'm going to return to my cottage to rest momentarily, however, as presumably the inn will try to charge. More chickens! Okay, I can one-shot the chickens now. Awesome! Okay, not all the time though. Less awesome. And presumably... Oh wow, look at the time. Okay, well... You know, sure, that's fine. This is gonna be a long episode series anyway. Pretty much. Um, okay. Uh, join me next time when we hunt us, uh, Orox, I guess. That seems like what's gonna happen anyway. Until then, this has been Let's Play Goddess with Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!